All right, so we can really get an idea of Cholesky decomposition and what it's really doing. Let's go through an example. Uh, this is actually the same example from the book, but I, I think it'll help you be able to move through it. And as we get started here, um, so we're gonna we're gonna construct L, and so I'm just gonna write then L one one, and and we can refer to the diagram here with the order we're gonna move in here. So this is gonna be the first element that we work on. Okay, so one one element. And if we look at our equations here, uh, L11, well, K actually equals uh, I in this case. K equals 1 and I equals 1. So we're going to use the second equation, LKK equals the square root of AKK minus uh, this summation. Well, uh, this summation actually moves over here. And, and we're in still in the first the first row and and so there there is no element here and so l11 is just going to equal the square the square root of a11 so l11 uh, equals the square root of a11 all right good so so we've done that one and if we look uh, let's say l equals and let's so we got it here and and uh, to give a number to that uh, that's that's equal to then uh, the square root of six uh, which is equal to uh, two point four four uh, nine five and so we could just write that two point four four nine five right here in the in the first entry of our matrix co now uh, k is 1 and now we increment k so k equals 2 and we move down to then the second entry in the matrix and uh, so k so so we because uh, it's going to be l uh, 2 1 so so that's k equals 2 so this is k equals 1 i equals 1 so this is k equals 2 i equals 1 all right, so k equals two, i equals one. Uh, L two one uh, is going to equal then our. Um, uh, okay, we just use this other equation here. So we're going to use. Uh, sorry to keep moving back and forth here. Maybe I should copy this down. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, well, let me do that, and I'll come back. All right, now we've got them here. Uh, and if we look, uh, we're here, we're on this, this second entry, so, so that's going to be the A that we're going to base it on. It'll be AKI, so that'll be uh, uh, 15, I'll just write the 15, uh, over um, uh, minus, so, so normally it would be minus here, but if you look, uh, J has to start at 1 and go to I minus 1 and our I is only 1. So we're in this first column and so we're not going to move over 2 here. That that doesn't mean anything and so uh, we don't have to do anything with this term. That doesn't come into play. Uh, and then so then that's going to be divided by LII. That's going to be uh, well not 6 but the square root of 6 which which is uh, 2.44 Nine five, and uh, that is uh, six point one uh, two three seven. All right, so then we can move. So so we've done this entry. So we've got six point one two three seven. Now we're going to move to this other diagonal entry, and because we're on a diagonal entry, we're going to use this second equation, and so that's going to equal to so that so we have k then equals to still 2, but our i is equal to 2 now. And so we're going to say L2, 2, and that's going to equal, uh, well, it's going to be based off, just like they always are, at A2, 2. So it's going to be A2, 2, and it's going to be the square root of this minus uh, some sum here. Okay, so we're summing from j equals 1 to k minus 1. Really what we're doing is we're summing up the these terms squared, so it's going to be that term squared, because that's the only one to the left of it. As we're summing up all the terms to the left of it in the L matrix, so that's just going to be uh, the that squared, so 6.1237 squared, and that is going uh, to equal uh, 
point one eight three three. This is this is fifteen here, right? Uh, or not fifteen, but fifty five. See fifty five. Yeah, fifty five right here. Fifty five. That's the entry that we have. The A two two entry um, is fifty five here. Okay, so we're we're in good shape there, and so now we have four point one eight. Uh, three three here now we can move down to the next row because we're, we're completely done with this row right because there's zeros up here so we don't even have to worry about those uh, so it's going to be based off of this and so and it's also not a diagonal en entry so we're going to use this first equation and so then the first term is going to be uh, so L so this is K equals 3 I equals 1 start I over again so L uh, 3 1 equals, uh, and it's not going to be a square, it's going to be uh, uh, 50, uh, 55, yes, 55, that, that entry is, so will be 55 minus um, the sum of all the previous elements, and there, there are none here, none to the left of it, uh, and it's really the L's that we're summing, so there's none to the left of it, uh, because it's right here, this is, this is where it's going to go, uh, divided by LII, so that's that that entry. So divided by, so minus zero really, uh, divided by uh, two point four four nine five, and that is going to equal uh, twenty two point four five four. All right. So we can keep moving through. I'm going to move down a little bit here, but we can put that in here as well. Two point four, uh, uh, no, twenty two point four five four. All right, so now we moved over. Now we're on this entry here, uh, and so that's going to be L uh, three two, uh, because we have K equals three, I equals two. Uh, why did I say set it two? But I wrote a one. So that's going to equal then, um, that will be uh, based on the, that A, right? This A, the corresponding A entry, so it'll be uh, 225 uh, m minus, uh, again, the sum of all the entries to the left times IJ times KJ. So uh, that's going to be... Uh, 225 minus LIJ times KJ. So the IJ, that'll be this entry here, uh, and then the KJ entry will be uh, this entry here. Uh huh. So uh, that'll be minus, uh, and, and see there's just, just the two. Uh, uh, 6.1237 times uh, 22.454 and that is going to uh, let's see do we have to divide it by something uh, yeah LII and I is 2 and so we have to divide it by this guy all over I'm going to slide down here a little more all over uh, 4.1833 and that is going to equal 20.917 so we can put that in here 20.917 we're on the home stretch we got our last entry it's going to be a diagonal entry so we're going to take the square root and see, so, yeah. See, so you notice here we got this. We got this. This is going to be this. This is squared, and see, this is sort of similar. It's not squared, but it's going to be one element times another. See, so it's still the product of two elements. Interesting. Um, so this is k equals three, i equals three. So then we have l three three equals uh, a k k. So that's going to be nine seventy nine, nine seven nine. Uh, uh, minus, and it'll be the square root of all this, minus, 
uh, the sum of L or L squared, L K J squared. So K is three, and what is J? Well, J has to move uh, all the way across here. So that's going. Uh, so that's going to be uh, a three three. Yeah. So we have that nine seventy nine minus uh, L. Uh, three ones. We'll take the first entry. So twenty-two point four five four squared minus uh, the square root of this squared twenty point nine one seven squared, and the product of that is equal to six point one one zero one. So we can put that 6.1101 and we're done. So there's an example of uh, Cholesky decomposition and uh, that is our uh, sort of like our matrix square root.